At Care Patron, we are constantly looking at ways to improve. If you have any feedback on how we can improve our videos or platform, please leave us a comment in the comment section below. Speech language pathology is a healthcare profession dedicated to evaluating, diagnosing, and treating communication and swallowing disorders. SLPs may also refer to speech language pathologists themselves. The core principles and beliefs of SLPs directly influence and determine how SLPs approach assessment and intervention. Here are some key principles. Client-centered care. SLPs believe in putting the individual's needs and goals at the forefront of their practice. Evidence-based practice. SLPs base their interventions on research and best practices within the field. Collaboration. SLPs often collaborate with other healthcare professionals, educators and families to ensure a comprehensive approach to care. Lifelong learning. The field of speech language pathology is constantly evolving and SLPs are committed to staying current with the latest research. Functional communication. SLPs focus on improving communication skills relevant to everyday situations. Person first language. SLPs use respectful and inclusive language when referring to individuals with communication disorders. Dynamic assessments are constantly used through SLPs. Let's show some practical examples SLPs use across various clinical settings. These examples showcase the flexibility and diverse application of dynamic assessments. Articulation therapy. An SLP working with a child struggling with a R sound might use a dynamic assessment during playtime. By observing how the child responds to different prompts and varying levels of support, the SLP can identify the most effective strategy. Language comprehension. An SLP working with an adult recovering from a stroke might use a dynamic assessment while reading a story together. The SLP can adjust the complexity of the text and provide different levels of support. Narrative skills. An SLP working with students or a school-aged child with language delays might use a dynamic assessment during story creation. By providing prompts, scaffolding questions and opportunities for revision, the SLP can assess the child's storytelling abilities. Fluency therapy. An SLP working with a client who stutters might utilize a dynamic assessment during the conversation. The SLP can observe the client's fluency patterns and identify strategies that facilitate smoother speech production by varying conversation topics and introducing different communication techniques. Voice therapy. An SLP working with a client experiencing vocal strain might use a dynamic assessment task during vocal exercises. By modifying the vocalization's volume, pitch and length, the SLP can assess the client's vocal control and identify safe and effective exercises. Swallowing assessment. An SLP working with an elderly client at risk of aspiration pneumonia might use a dynamic assessment during mealtime. By providing different textures of food and varying levels of support, the SLP can assess the client's swallowing safety. To learn more about dynamic assessments, go to our Care Patron website or click on the link in the description. We have a range of guides and articles to help you learn more about different therapy techniques to incorporate into your practice. Care Patron is a healthcare platform designed for you. Signing up is free. Just click on the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this.